Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of September the 27th to October the 3rd, 2021. We are in the star sign of Libra, but before we go into the um, star signs, we're having a look at the overall energy for the week. I already prepared the, um, or asked for the, the message here for the overall energy. And what we have here is the swan and the parrot. So, <clears throat> if you're watching this, congratulations, because apparently last week was rather heavy uh, for a lot of people because of the full moon. And um, so this is going to be a much easier week energetically. Yay! And so we have the swan and the parrot. That means two things. Number one, we do not have to prove anything to anyone. Really, really important watch when people think you either owe them something um, or you feel um, you're not good enough because the swan, the depiction I have here, is um, an adult swan. And the swan is a water bird that needs to sort of wait until it's waterproof before it can swim. But since this is a, an adult swan, you have got nothing to prove. And the reason why this is important, because the outgoing energy for the um, overall energy for this week, September the 27th to October the 3rd, 2021, is the parrot. And that just means that you are, or we all are, really, really intelligent people. And again, not everybody sees it. So, in other words, let people underestimate you. Let people think, you know, that, you know, there are certain things you can't do or you're not good at this. It tells, it says more about them than it does about you. Overall energy, to cut a long story short, for this week is to remember you know your stuff. You are not weak. You're not stupid. You are not a person that doesn't understand stuff. And you don't have to prove anything to anyone, right? So, best way to deal with this, since both animal guides aren't predators per se, let people say and think whatever they want, not your circus, not your monkey, or other way around, not your monkey, not your circus. Please do not pay attention to naysayers, please do not pay attention to people who are negative. Just don't be available to their crap. And if you are in a place where you can't necessarily escape it, let's just say you're at work and someone comes up and they are um, a bit of a dimwit and think, um, you know, they, they point you out to make you look bad, it says more about them than it does about you. Just ignore it. Right? Do not take it home, do not take it home, you're better than that. Okie dokie, that was the overall energy for the week ahead. Like I said, we're looking at the week of September the 27th to October the 3rd, 2021. Now please remember to subscribe, smash that like button. <laughs> and if you want, you can also support me financially by buying me a coffee <laughs> on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. You donate a fiver, I get £4.34, you know, and every little helps. So, I can, you know, I'm, I'm planning on, on buying some proper lights and maybe a new microphone, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, and since it is a free service, I'm just putting it out there. Okie dokie, shall we get started? We're in the star sign of Libra. Let's have a look what we got for Librans. Libran, Librans, <laughs> Libras. You have the red fox. And the elk. Please remember that you are a very old soul. Again, we have that a lot. Actually, we have that every time um, we talk about the overall energy. It is sort of reflected also in the messages for the star signs. And so you can see this here. Um, the guides are saying to you is remember you are an old soul. You have survived everything and you will continue to survive everything just take your time this week. Again, 
try not to be stressed out, especially by things that you cannot control or that you cannot alter somehow, right? And then you have, that's, that's the red fox for you. And then you have the elk. And every time you have an animal with antlers, it's the universe's way of saying to you, you're fully protected, right? Just watch your own energy. It's really, really important to watch your own energy. And then the other thing is obviously um, for you to find a way and create moments where you can actually rest and recharge your batteries. Really, really important, right? So that was the um, messages. Or those were the messages for uh, Libra going to the next star sign, which is Scorpio. Here we go. Scorpio, you have the wolf and the puma. Now, for Scorpios, remember you are represented by a scorpion. And the smaller the scorpion is, the more venom he has to carry around. And the larger the scorpion is, the less venom he needs. In other words, because you have the wolf, stay with your thoughts, with your tribe, right? Don't be affected. And again, it seems to be the overlapping energy here comes in as well. Don't allow yourself to be affected by the bitchiness of others, right? You are in control of your own life, right? That is really important. And then you have the puma, which is also called the mountain lion, depending on where you, where you are and where people talk about him. And the puma is quite a powerful animal. And here the idea is for you to not only be in charge of your own affairs. And remember that no matter what people say, at the end of the day, it is your decision and the decisions that you make that count. And because the puma is called the mountain lion, so the same being has different names, which is actually, technically speaking, just a local thing. And yet you will find people who do not know what a mountain lion is, while everybody knows what a puma is. What that all means, to cut a long story short, is for you to realize that not this week, not everybody wants to see you. Not everybody wants to understand you. Not everybody wants to acknowledge you. And you know what? That's fine. Because you don't need the approval of others for as long as or as long as you remember that you are awesome yourself, right? And you don't need a validation of a third party or even another person. Just trust that you are making the right decisions and you have always um, the, the, the welfare and the, you know, the future of other people that you are looking at. And you have that, you know, in the forefront uh, of your mind when you make decisions and you're doing just fine, right? So there is a bit of a feeling here that there might be a bit of loneliness coming in and you feel like, you know, I could do with a bit of support. And um, energetically speaking, what the guides are saying is support is one thing. Being told what people think you should do in a certain situation is not necessarily support. It's actually advice and they advise you from their point of view. So, you know, go within, you figure stuff out. Okie dokie, that was Scorpios going to the next star sign, which is Sagittarius. And we are looking at the week of September the 27th to October the 3rd. 2021. Sagittarians, you have, sorry, yes, yeah, Sagittarians, you have the bobcat and the grizzly bear. Remember, the overall energy sort of was to, you know, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. And the bobcat is basically saying to you, you just could do with finding a vantage point, if that makes sense, right? Um, See things from a higher point of view, for want of a better word, and remove yourself a little bit um, so that you can actually, it's not so much taking stock, but just reflect on how you truly feel this week. Really, really important, right? So find, find a vantage point from where you can do that because your outgoing energy is the grizzly bear. And all bears 
in integrity speaking, are about healing. So what they're saying to you is, uh, to you Sagittarians, this week is that it is really, really important to step back a little from everything, right? Just reflect on how you truly feel and then literally nurture yourself. Okay, and I know for Sagittarians this is easier said than done because you are a giver. And sometimes, you know, remember, when you give, people will take. It doesn't make them bad people, it makes them opportunists. And maybe you need to learn to tell people off a little. Okay, don't get about Sagittarians going to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorn. Capricorns. <laughs> okay, you have the Caribou and the Wolverine. Like I said, we have a lot of uh, oftentimes overlapping energies, which means very similar and yet slightly different. And with Capricorns, you have the Caribou, also known as the Reindeer, and the Wolverine. So the first thing the guides are saying to you is that you ought to remember that the more people chase you, the more you have to do the more you tire. So it is important for you to, if possible, um, create your own, follow your own rhythm, for want of a better word, right? Make sure that nobody chases you. You know what you need to do, you know your stuff, right? But tell people off when they sort of are, are very pushy towards you because it doesn't help your energy, right? Really, really important um, because, again, you have an animal with antlers, so it means you're fully protected while you actually not allow people to push you about, right? And then you have the Wolverine, which is similar to the Bobcat that we had for the other star sign, um, which also means, you know, obviously not literally, <laughs> no climate tree. Have a look at where you are at in life and remember that you have made progress. So in other words, for Capricorn, this is actually a week where if you find a mechanism that works for you to actually go within and quietly, if that's the word, quietly reflect on where you are in life, you will notice that you have made and that you make good decisions and you have made progress already. And um, like I said, before we're moving on to Aquarius, it is really interesting here to see that the overall energy uh, that clearly was, remember you're intelligent and you don't have to prove anything, um, really informs the entire week and so far has informed all the star signs. So therefore, this is a week where it makes the most sense to not really engage, especially in hostility and in people who, who want to be bitchy. You know, let them be bitchy someplace else. Okie dokie, let's go to Aquarius. Here we go. Aquarius. Aquarians. <laughs> you have the snake and the seagull. So, very interesting because the snake is the animal that is associated with health. And when you go to the doctor, sorry, to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So, it is also a symbol of health. And the snake is therefore an animal of transformation simply because the snake sheds its skin. So, for Aquarians this week, it is time that you actually speak up. It's time that you do not only speak up, but it is time that you um, let go of anything that lowers your energy. Really, really important. So this is the first star sign this week that is asked to be proactive, if that makes sense. Um, and the seagull is telling you when you, and this is the way I get this, when you begin to remove yourself from people or situations that do not have your best interest in mind, right? don't just up and leave. The seagull is the animal that tells you it makes sense to at least have a think about what you want to do because then it is easier to manifest that. Now, don't hear this wrong, because you have the snake, you wouldn't mess with the snake. They're not asking you, if you find yourself in a situation where you're really unhappy, to stay there until a new situation that is suitable arrives. All they're saying is, while you allow yourself to actually remove yourself from the harmful energies of others, right? 
at least have some sort of a plan where it is you want to go. So in other words, don't have knee-jerk uh, knee reactions to, to something, right? Um, have a bit of a plan and you will be fine. And remember, the snake here, energetically speaking, was the stronger energy. So the energy of shedding your skin and, and transforming and, you know, moving away from things and um, making sure that you're not getting ill, for want of a better word, and it could be emotionally, um, while being in situations that are simply not for you. Um, you are asked to be a bit more proactive this week or to be actually proactive and do not allow people to walk all over you. Okay, that was Aquarius going into the next star sign, which is my star sign, Pisces. And like I said so many times, we are looking at the week of September the 27th to October the 3rd, 2021. And um, please subscribe, smash the like button, and um, please, please, please share this video widely because, you know, obviously I'm trying to reach as many people as I can possibly or I could possibly reach. Okay, so for us Pisce Pisceans, we have the crow and the rabbit. <clears throat> now the crow, interestingly enough, is another animal that has to do with transformation. Even though we are not asked to be um, super proactive, we are just asked to remember while we're going through change and while we're going through changes or rather while we're still letting go of stuff that affects us, while we're not quite fully healed from past, from past trauma, um, we are going towards the energy of renewal. So we're almost there, right? So Pisceans, you're almost there just takes a little longer before everything feels ah now i can take a breather and life is good again if that makes sense right um we will get there and here is the outgoing energy which is the rabbit because we have the crow and the rabbit and what the guides are saying to us is while we might not be fully there yet the rabbit denotes the rabbit holes and therefore it says you know once you push through stuff that hasn't really worked or or once you have truly let go of the way they make me feel it, it's it's like almost like you 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 you've you've gone through um, a breakup or you've gone through um, a situation that just doesn't sit right with you, and you're almost almost fully away from it, so that you can go like okay, whew, dealt with this, and the rabbit hole or the rabbit is basically saying to you is once. This is done. Give it a bit more time. Um, new opportunities and abundance will actually find you because energetically, Pisceans, you are or we are a bit higher and a bit more capable um, to actually receive new beginnings and follow through. Okie dokie. That was that. That was Pisceans. And now we go into the next star sign, which is Aries. Now, Aries, you are the very first star sign of the zodiac. And so your energy is always the energy of making things happen. <laughs> this week, you're asked not to do that because you have the bear and the insect. We had the bear already <clears throat> for another star sign and the bear is telling you that um, it is time for you to fully heal, really, really important, therefore, to allow yourself to not be burdened by the demands of others, right? Focus on yourself, nurture yourself, and literally make a decision, and make the decision about what you deserve. Really, really important, Aries, because your outgoing energy is the insect. And the insects are all about renewal, spirituality, <clears throat> and knowing how important you are. Because without the insects, absolutely nothing would work. So pat yourself on the back a little for being so awesome and remembering that you have helped a lot of people. <clears throat> and now all you need to do this week is to look after yourself. Okie dokie, that was Aries going into the next star sign. We're looking at the week of September the 27th to October the 3rd. October
October the 3rd is actually Reunification Day in Germany. So, yay! <laughs> so, here we go. It just popped into my head. Anyway, we're looking at Taurus. Taurians. Phew, loads of bears around and about this week. You have the chipmunk and you have the brown bear. Oh, just take a deep breath. Because life is not as bad or as difficult as you tend to feel it. The chipmunk is telling you, yes, everything you, 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 you look at, you know that your perception of it is right. right? You have everything figured out, <clears throat> you know what's going on, and yet you are not here to solve anyone else's crap. And this is the way the guides show, show it to me. It's because people always look at you for solving stuff rather than just asking you for advice. It goes a bit too far. And so, Taurians, you are represented by the bull, right? Show some horns, right? Make sure people know that there are boundaries and that there are limits to what you are willing to do because your outgoing energy is the brown bear. Again, the brown bear is all about healing, since the, uh, well, all bears are about healing. Since the brown bear is all about what we, called, we call feminine healing, it is about deep-seated emotions that can be found in the solar plexus. So this very likely will be a week for Taurians where your self-esteem will be wobbly and where you probably think, you know, I haven't really achieved much life isn't so great don't go down that path because then if you are already um, thinking low of yourself you will attract people who will make you feel even lower and less appreciated which is why you are asked to say you know i'm taurus i'm the bull do not do not enter my turf right really, really important. So I think energetically speaking, it's really about um, um, telling people, you know, really tell them off a little and, and remind people that, you know, it is not your job to make any and every decision for them. Okay, that was Taurus going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. Here we go. Gemini's, you have the timber wolf, and the crow. So the timber wolf tells you that you're no longer two people. <laughs> right? So Gemini. What they're asking you to do is to really assess life and then put everything you find into focus. Right? Really focus on what's going on where and see if you can somehow combine these things. So it is easier for you to actually do something about the nitty gritty of things because you have the timber wolf and the wolf tells you, you know, you have a pack to run, family to run, you know, a life to run for want of a better word. And it is, it's time that you do that regardless of how people see you because you have the crow, which is the animal of transformation. So this is a week where, energetically speaking, you might have very different ideas, new ideas, um, feeling like, you know, you know, things need to be less stale, maybe, you know, uh, um, you know, clean some, some cobwebs and, you know, off and, um, you know, be a bit more lively, show yourself, if that makes sense, right? Because that's another way of, of letting people know Number one, that you're still here. And number two, you know, you know um, how to make decisions. You know how to live your life. Um, and without being, um, and that's what, what I'm getting from the guys, without being inundated by people's opinions, because their opinions simply do not matter. Okie dokie, that was Gemini going to the next star sign, um, which is Cancer. So, Let's just remind ourselves of the overall energy for the week ahead, which really said that you don't have to prove anything 
to anyone. It's really, really important to remember you don't have to prove anything to anyone and you do not have to follow anyone. Well, it sounds a bit weird when, 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 when I hear sort of, you know, um, that you don't have to follow anyone at all. It feels more like, you know, new opportunities are coming to you and you should really look at these new opportunities and don't make them about other people. Would they benefit from it? Is that good for them? You have to look at what does it do to me, right? Cancerians, what does it do to you, right? Make sure that whatever decision is, has to be made, whatever comes up this week for you, you have to feel okay with it because when you feel that was the right choice, the universe will always look after your unit, right? So should you be a Cancerians, uh, Cancerian um, with a partner or a child and new opportunities come your way or, or decisions need to be made, no matter what happens, the universe knows you are a unit, right? So don't manifest for others because then you exclude yourself from that unit. Right? Not a good idea. Okay, dokie, that was Cancerians going to the next star sign, which is Leo. Leos, you have the white tail deer and the gray squirrel. Now, for Leos, what you are being asked is to Hmm. Step back is probably the word. Is is for you to literally step step back from everything. Look at what is in front of you, if that makes sense. Right? Where 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 am I in life? What what's what am I seeing here? What's you know what what am I looking at? Right? Um, and then gently assess what to do with it. In other words. Um, the feeling is for Leo that you feel stressed and when you are being stressed, you may actually um, make the wrong decisions, if that makes sense, because under stress, you're just not functioning so well. So what they're saying to Leo is remember your strengths, right? But also relax around situations. Really, really important. Because when you are going into, okay, let's really assess life rather than just react to it that's when new opportunities and first and foremost very good and new ideas come to you so you can actually make real change in how to go forward right really really important so for leo's cut a long story short make sure that your energy is gentle but in focus, if that makes sense. So step back from everything a little bit, really, really important to step back first, and then just look at where am I in life? What's what's going on here, if that makes sense. And um, then without being stressed, you kind of go like, oh, okay, I see, this is where things are going. Do I want to go there or not, right? And then allow for new opportunities, and not just opportunities, but new ideas, to actually um, take hold um, and then gently let them come into being and turn them into actions. Okay, Doki, <coughs> that was Leo. Now we have um, only um, Virgo left. Yay! <laughs> so let's have a look at the last star sign for the week ahead. Um, we're looking at the week of September the 27th, I think or 26th, not 27th, to the to October the 3rd. Um, please subscribe, please like, and please share this video widely. And please, it's really important if you actually, you know, if you have any comments to make, you know, make them here under the channel or go to the Facebook page, you know, www.facebook.com forward slash energy and star sign readings. You know, always comment, you know, um, so, because obviously I want you to have a good time here, um, you know, so if, if you have any recommendations or is there anything 
um, you would want me to look into. Uh, what I mean by this is I had people saying, oh, I love your astrology reports, but you hardly ever talk about it. Um, it's true. This is, a, this is a, a reading where I work with my guides. So astrology with regards to star signs or with regards to governing planets do, do not often come in, if that makes sense, makes sense. Also the moon phases are not really coming in. But if you felt um, it would help you, right? let me know what star sign you are and I hope I remember it for next week because make no mistake about it, medium means the man in the middle or the one in the middle. I only work here. right? But I'm very open to suggestions. Also, speaking of suggestions, I'm always looking for fellow readers to do an episode with me. It's nothing better than, than, than having two people um, reading uh, star signs, you know, um, makes, it, makes, makes it easier than having to uh, listen to a, a monologue, if that makes sense. <sighs> that all said, let's go into the last star sign, which is Virgo. You have the horse and the kingfisher. Now, all the guides are saying to you is very interesting because you remember the overall energy was for you to realize and remember how intelligent you are and you don't have to prove anything to anyone. Now, since you have the horse, which literally represents freedom and stepping away from it all, that's what you can allow yourself to do. It is also important if you feel a tad lost to step back but reach out to friends at the same time or maybe to a friend at the same time um, and see if there is another person that you can actually have next to you as you charge your batteries. But your job this week is to literally just go whatever <laughs> and, and just step away because your outgoing energy is the kingfisher. And like the hummingbird, it's a bird that can work any tree, no matter how crooked it is, right? And let's just say the tree represents your life. So the message is really simple, right? If you just take a little bit of a breather, the world will not come to an end. And no matter what you find, you will just be fine. Okie dokie. That was um, this week's energy and star sign readings. Um, Thank you so much for watching and like I said, please, 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 please share it widely. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.